hello everyone i'm here again in this in this spot uh i'm going to talk about something you know i uh, with the tributes that have been coming on for herbert wigway uh who's uh, who, who died in an unfortunate and tragic incidents and helicopter crash in the u.s alongside his wife and son there have been tribute coming in from his friends you know business colleagues people they've known for 20 years or more you see you know people crying his friends and colleagues you know in a very emotional tribute to him also watching his daughter and uh, and the, the the other kids that they left uh, behind so one of the things that kept coming out, you know, people are saying that, look, there is no, all tribes are represented, all religion. I mean, you see the Emir of Kano breaking down and crying profusely. You see, uh, you see the, his, his colleague, Ike, uh, you know, breaking down and crying, you know, literally people, you know, talking and crying about uh, all of this. And people were talking about the fact that, uh, you see, at the top, that religion doesn't matter, tribalism doesn't matter, that people are like friends and colleagues together and all of that, which, which is quite true. So from there, I just, uh, that's why I'm doing this video, to say that even whether you say at the top, at the middle, at the bottom, honestly, tribe and religion doesn't really matter until it was made to matter. And the people who made it to matter are people who want to capture power. I tell you, you go to the market, you go to the market, you see Alsama, you see Iboma, Yorubama, whatever, all doing their business together, laughing and whatever. But when this whole thing, because the conditioning, and in Nigeria, with the coming of politics, where people need to whip up tribal and religious sentiments for them to win election and capture power and hold power to themselves, this that is part of the things that had led to this fueling of you know religious crisis, tribal crisis, and all of that, and bringing this distrust. And of course, we 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 are a country of. Quite a number of uneducated people. Unfortunately, our literacy level isn't that very high. Our educational uh, level isn't that very high. So there are many people who are not educated. You can't blame them. They believe whatever they say. And some of them, uh, in fairness to them, these are their leaders that they trust. They trust. They trust them to. To, to guide them, to give them the best, to tell them what is factual. And when they always bring that thing in that either religion tribe, so they just believe. So we see a lot of people who are weaponizing illiteracy, weaponizing poverty, weaponizing religion, just to be able to put a divide because that's the only way they know that they can continue to hold on to power if things are left to oh vote someone who is competent when they see someone who is competent from another tribe or another religion they will whip up uh, tribal sentiments whip up religious sentiments just to get the people to not vote that way so the biggest problem we've really had has been you know especially with the democracy it's increased more during the military it wasn't that very rampant because at the end of the day hey the military just come in and take over power right so they just they know it's amongst them there that they know who they voted who they are going to put to be in power and all of that so they do that without without uh, any any care and they don't need anybody voting for them so they didn't need to whip up religious sentiments uh, to be able to get on due advantage or undeserved uh, advantage but with, with democracy, it's really increased over time. It's been such a big and major uh, uh, problem. It's been something that, you know, we really need to do something about it. And, and you know, I, I mentioned something earlier where I said illiteracy has, has been, you know, weaponized. Deliberately, the educational system in Nigeria was destroyed. Deliberately. Because if you have educated people, it's very difficult for you to be able to control them in that manner. It's very difficult for you to be able to just tell somebody something and then they believe it. Even like right now, please don't mistake education for literacy. There are people who are literate, they've gone up to university, they, but they are not educated. They are not really educated. They are just literate. Yeah, they can read and write. That's the one that you'll be wondering. This person is supposed to be a professor, supposed to be a doctor. But their thought process 
it's so pedestrian it's too archaic it's too tribal it's so bigotry you're wondering what then was the essence of your education what then it, because the education is supposed to expand your mind widen your horizon and make you be able to see things on you know on it on uh, on a wider scale and you'll be able to be objective but some people don't have that even at that the educational system that we have destroyed in a way that a lot of people go through the schools but they don't really get the education that's why you will you will say something you will write something and someone is completely takes it out of context or just talking about something and you're wondering is it what i wrote this person is talking about or is it something else that this person is talking about so it's a big major crisis that i, that I have the one thing i want us to take out of this all is to realize that we are not fighting each other we don't fight each other people are busy looking for how to survive the last thing they're thinking about is fighting each other based on religion tribe and all of that but because there are people who benefit who benefit uh, from from causing religious crisis or oh, there's some what well, are this thing out there and you'll be sure it will not be an ambulance night to be one some big man that's wanting to pass somewhere or big woman so you know they, they want to get that uh benefit from the religious crisis and hold on to leadership so they do everything they don't care what they destroy and as we are right now based on that destruction of educational system we, 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 we're paying for it the, the insurgency, the banditry, the criminality, we're all paying for it now. People who thought that they can just have, you know, population of people who don't know anything, that they can control them when votes, you know, when it is time to vote. Now they are finding out that it's not easy. Now they are finding out that there's a whole lot of price to pay. And I'm sure the price we're paying for all the uh, insurgency and everything going on is even much, much, much more than whatever it is that we thought we were going to gain from uh, they they thought they were going to gain from not uh, educating people so i would say that nigerians on a normal they are not tribalistic uh, you know all of that but because of uh the kind of inequality you no know, the inequality lack of justice the fact that some people you find that some people are favored more than others some religion are favored more than other so this redress resentment and people use that you know the political power that people derive from the uh, from the chaos that goes on is part of the things that has really caused a lot of problem uh, in, in Nigeria and hopefully we are able to see that hopefully more people are able to use their number six so even if you've not gone to school use your common sense this hunger it affects everybody and when Peter B was saying that simple phrase of the is there any tribe that buys spread cheaper is there any religion that buys spread cheaper? It looked maybe too simplified for the, for some, some people might say too simplified for presidential discussion or whatever. But at the end of the day, that's what it is. That's the question everybody needs to ask themselves. If you buy, if you, you buy bread cheaper because of your religion or your tribe, please let us know. I will gladly become your, your tribe. Let me go and buy uh, that, uh, that bread cheaper also. And there are a lot of people that would do that and go, go to where you are buying and buy it from there. So with all this suffering that, that it's going on, I, I hope people get to understand that uh, we, are all, it's, we are all in it together. And of course, as you go on, the less, the less money there is, the less wet there is, the less resources, uh, economic resources there is, the more fighting uh, that, that, that comes up because people are fighting for the scarce uh, resources that are available. Thank you so much. Uh, for watching and listening and if you got to this page, please don't forget to share like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye